In this video, we'll show you how to create drop-down menus in HTML using a simple, low-code tool that allows you to export the HTML and CSS source code. A drop-down menu helps you structure your content and allows your users to navigate easier through your website. Well, let's get started. Hey friends, Caleb here from Teleport HQ, the collaborative, low-code platform that automatically writes and deploys code so you don't have to. Let's jump right into it. First, log in to your Teleport HQ account and go to your workspace. If you don't have an account, simply create one for free by going to teleporthq.io. You can find a link to the website in the description box below. And don't worry, you'll be able to export your drop-down menus, HTML, and CSS source code for free. Go to the left panel and open the Elements tab. Scroll down to the Interaction section, where you will find the drop-down element and simply drag it to add it to your working canvas. Once you add the drop-down element on your page, you will also see a drop-down section with additional settings in the right panel. You can also access it right from the canvas by clicking on the purple icon above the element. The catchy part is that once you open the drop-down settings from the canvas, you can also drag and move it around and place it wherever you need. Now to edit and view your drop-down menu items, you can click on the toggle Hide and Show to display the menu items. The toggle Design and Play allows you to enable play mode to preview in real time how your dynamic menu works. To change the position of the items from the menu, you can simply choose between the four different placements available in the drop-down settings. Left, right, above, and below. The default menu has four items, but you can easily add more by clicking on the button Add Menu Item as many times as you need. Next, let's discuss how to customize drop-down elements. In order to further customize and add more complexity to your menu, you can click on an item in the menu and open the drop-down settings panel from the purple settings icon. Then, click on the button Convert Menu Item to Drop-Down to make the item change into a drop-down menu list. Once you do this, you will have the same options to customize it as you did for the main drop-down menu. For example, you can hide or show the sub-menu items or preview how your menu works in real time by clicking the Hide Show toggle or the Play toggle. Once you establish the structure and the number of your menu items and sub-menu items in the drop-down menu, you can easily edit each by naming them. For example, let's give the menu the name Products and the items the following. Living room, bedroom, office, desks, chairs, and decorations. Let's see how it would work using the play mode. Very nice and smooth. I like it. Now let's see how to add your links to the drop-down menu list. Finally, let's add the links to the drop-down elements. Click on each element you want to make linkable. Click on the link icon above it and select from the list the page you want to lead to. Before we finish this, let's make a few touch-ups. Remove the padding from the main drop-down element, select all the text elements, and change the font, font size, and color. Once the drop-down menu is created, save the entire nav bar as a component and use it anywhere across your project. Give it a final preview and you have a fully functional HTML drop-down menu for your website that you can also export and use in your own preferred development environment. If you found this tutorial useful, let us know in the comments below. We are working on more tutorials, so subscribe to be notified when new videos are being published. See you in the next one.